Oh lordy. <laughs> I think the hardest um, interview question I got asked uh, was if you had to divert a train one of two ways and so one of the ways you kill one young person but the other way you kill six old people which way would, would you divert it? Um, okay, the hardest interview question I got was do you prefer prosection or dissection um, for learning anatomy um, and which one do we do? And I failed this question because I didn't know which one the med school did. Um, so first tip is just to read up on the course um, and learn how they teach anatomy. Um, so I answered that um, I prefer prosection because you get a neat specimen and it's a lot easier to learn from. Um, from personal experience, I know that you know the human body when it's cut up is it's very d difficult to distinguish between blood vessels, nerves, etc. Um, so it's much nicer to have an expert cut it for you and show you show you those structures properly. Um, but that was actually the wrong answer because they didn't do prosection and they did dissection. <laughs> so I think a, a a good answer for that is so you say if they do dissection, you say. Um, I prefer dissection because it's like making your own flashcards. So yes, you can go buy them from the shop and they'll be very neat and they'll, um, they'll be really good like that. The process of making your own is where you learn the information. Um, so yeah, that would be a good answer for that. Yo, I'm actually Buzz. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and think, yo, clap. So the question I want to talk about um, is give an example um, of a time when you face a difficult situation. Um, med school, uh, med schools love to ask this question because obviously they want to know how you can handle stress. Now the reason why I want to talk about this question because I feel like people overthink this question. Um, I think they, you know, think, oh, I need to think of like a extravagant story, like if someone had a cardiac arrest and I gave them CPR or something. But it doesn't need to be that extravagant. Is essentially what I'm saying. For me personally, when I got asked it, um, I used an example of when I was doing my A-level exams. I remember when I had my January exams, they I didn't do too well in them. Uh, so obviously I had to try and change my approach and how I studied. Essentially what they want you to know is they want you to identify that there's a problem and they want to know you taking active steps to change it. So that's what, they, that's what they're looking for in a question like that. Which really makes sense because these are all qualities that people look for in a doctor anyway because you're going to be facing the stressful situations. So as long as you can show them that, um, then you should be well prepped to answer that question. So an example of mine would be obviously um, my A-level my exams. Um, I didn't do as well as I wanted to in January um, when I got my results I was a little bit disappointed and obviously I had to improve drastically from my summer exams now um, instead of just hoping and doing the same thing I identified the problem um, and that was my revision technique my revision technique now looking in retrospect wasn't good at all so essentially what I did was I was just reading I was reading I was reading and I was making some notes but it wasn't that good now my problem was I didn't do enough past papers I didn't test myself enough um, and knowing that, I changed my approach. So I think from March onwards, I just started doing past papers, I started doing past papers, I started doing past questions. Uh, and I learned my exam technique started really bad, but then I improved it, I improved it, and I did a lot better in the summer. So that is an example for me, how I faced a difficult situation where I was disappointed in my results in January, and I changed my approach actively. Um, I learned better techniques, learned better exam techniques, and then I improved my grades. Okay, so the question was, there's a house uh, with no windows and a kettle inside and you can't see the kettle, you're outside the house and there's a, um, a plug with three switches outside and you have to work out which switch connects to the kettle and turns the kettle on inside the house but you can't go in in the time that you're working it out to check until you've actually made your final decision. So I answered it, um, so, so obviously it's a lateral thinking question, you have to sort of think about which scenarios would, would lead to you finding it out. Um, and I sort of worked out that if you turn two switches on simultaneously and leave the third switch and don't touch the third switch, and then so you have two switches on for about maybe five minutes, and then you turn one of the switches off, and then you can go inside the house and check. So if nothing's happened to the kettle, if it's not been bored at all, it's a third switch that you left alone. Um, if the kettle has is hot but not boiling it's the switch that you turned off and if the kettle's still boiling then it's the switch that you turn on at the start but then turn off so that's how you work it out so what role for, uh, do I, would i play in a team um, that's an interesting question actually uh, i think 
just for the matter of fact of you know it, it kind of combines a lot of things but I think I'm uh, I'm, a, I'm a leader and I'll explain why you know first first and foremost I, I play a lot of sports and um, I've been captain of a few teams and it's a really gratifying role for me to be able to uh, motivate my teammates and I enjoy playing team-based sports like that and uh, to be able to kind of be the one that someone can turn to and then you know lean on or be able to motivate and inspire that kind of thing I, I, I enjoy that but also I think my personality comes into it as well um, I'm, I'm quite an outgoing person I would say and and I think because of that because I'm a bit of an extrovert I, I, I like to do things where I you know I go the extra mile um, for you know uh, people my friends my family and things like that so I think my personality traits and also you know just the things that I do generally in daily life so my hobbies and things like that I think that's that's what would be my role in the team I think uh, as, as a leader that's what I would see myself as. So I got asked what motivates me um, in medicine so I've always thought that you only get this one life um, so you need to make the most of it live up to your full potential and I don't see the point in being mediocre when you can be more than that um, you can be exceptional so always strive for better and um, I know a lot of people say that you should be happy with where you are but you can be happy with where you are but you can still aim for more that's how you grow as a perfect person get out of your comfort zone um, and I like to do I like to like get out of my comfort zone as much as I can like try new things because that's the only way you'll grow um, I think that's what motivates me most um, but also just like making my family proud um, I'm the only one in my family who's um, doing medicine um, out of all my cousins, extended family, um, my siblings um, so I just success is what drives me as well like I just want to succeed um, and it's also a sense of proving myself as well that I can not only to other people mainly to myself um, yeah Hey guys, so basically I've been asked to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about um, the most difficult or challenging kind of question I had um, during my medical interviews. Um, personally for me, I think um, it was um, when I got asked what my biggest um, weakness was. I think this question kind of throws a lot of people off because like you don't want to come across like, uh, what do I say if I said this, I'm like kind of disorganised, they're going to think I'm not capable. The way I answered this question, I mentioned the fact that I was quite um, self-conscious, a um, bit wary of like public speaking or speaking in kind of in groups, which you have to do quite a lot of in um, medicine. Um, so for me, it was a case of like I'm so scared, I'm kind of like shy of how how I look across to other people. So for me, the way I kind of moved on from that was um, getting more like involved in like uh, societies and stuff at school, um, doing a lot of like. Um, active roles within societies and then kind of like even like I remember recording myself um, doing like speeches and stuff to see how I come across um, like even when I did my interview practice I did like um, a lot of video work so I think um, it's about in terms of answering the question it's about giving um, an example and then you have to actually say how you actually you recognize it yeah that's good but how you went on to actually tackle that um, weakness for example to say so so that's what they're trying to get the question give yeah a kind of negative thing obviously it's a weakness and nobody wants to kind of admit that in an interview which I can appreciate but it's about how you move on how you move on from that because nobody's perfect um, and um, it's all about self-awareness and you know all your, your own limits and um, in medicine you're gonna realize you're always gonna have to get you know you have to give um, constructive feedback you have to receive feedback and it's all about not just taking it but what you can actually do with the feedback I don't want to sound dumb, I don't have anything good to say. A weakness of mine is not very organized and I can like leave things to the end so I procrastinate a lot. But I fixed it by, I'm actually quite good at making like task lists and like making calendars and that kind of stuff. And it sounds very like cliche and dumb but like that really works for me. And yeah, just like don't procrastinate as much because I busy myself more so that I don't like so that I have something to do and if I don't do it then 
if I don't do what I need to do on the time I'm supposed to do it, then I'll never get it done. So like I have to keep on top of it. So I force myself to keep on top of things. So that's how I fix that.